What's up guys, today I have this Dell Optiplex 390. This is a small form factor PC. So it is pretty compact. Um, we have these set up to be used as some point of sale terminals. So that is the front of it. So I just wanna show you how to upgrade mainly the hard drive and the RAM. Um, you can also use this video to say replace the motherboard or the power supply if needed. Server. Bye. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First thing we want to do to open it up is pull on this handle, lift it up, and then pull that out. It'll pop right off. So Dell's actually made it very easy to upgrade these systems, but the first time opening it, it's just um, there's a little there's some tricks to it. So first of all, we are supposed to have a CD drive here or DVD drive. Um, this model doesn't have it, we didn't order it with it, so that's gone. Usually there's just like a little blue tab here, you can pull it, and it's just about that wide and it just slides right out. Usually it's got this SATA connection plugged in, but we won't worry about that too much. Um, so the next thing we wanna do is remove the hard drive. We're going to first disconnect the two cables. So the blue one here is the data cable and the one with four other wires going to it. So that connector is their power cable. Just gonna pull right on that, it's slipped right off. Pull right on that, it'll slip right off. Now inside here, we see this lock and unlock. So to unlock it, we wanna push this to the left side. So we're just gonna stick our finger in here, slide it over, and now it's unlocked. To take out the hard drive, we just pull on the cage and it pops right out. Now take the hard drive actually out, push on these two tabs, and it will slide right out. So I love Dell machines because they make upgrading a breeze on these uh, business machines. So then you can just kinda pull these out. There's no screws. It's just held in by four little pins, and that is your hard drive. So pop a new one in there, um, I will be actually installing an SSD, so that's why I took this one apart. So we'll set all of that aside. You can, uh, I'm just going to remove these cables because it'll be easier uh, to present the video to you guys, but I'm just going to disconnect the SATA cable. So you'll see on the motherboard connector, there is a blue and a white SATA. The blue one's your primary, that's gonna be your hard drive. Just match it with the blue wire. And now we are going to remove the RAM. Removing the RAM is very easy, you just, there's two um, slots for it, so on my machine I only have one stick installed, and that's a two gigabyte stick. So you just push it back, these tabs, and the RAM pops right out. There you go. Now to reinstall it, you make sure the tabs are still in the out position, but all you do now is line it up, and then you push down, and the tabs will close by themselves and lock into place. The left side is DIMM number one, so you always wanna use this one first, and then use the second one if you fill up the first one. So we'll just go ahead and remove the RAM. And that's pretty much it if you want to upgrade your hard drive and the RAM in your system. But um, since this video is a little short and I have some free time, let's go ahead and take the whole system apart. So next we will be removing the, um, let's just unplug this first. This detects if the case cover is off. So it looks like, just had to push on that. Right there, that'll pop right off. Usually these slide right out, but feel free to leave that on the system because that's really not gonna affect us. Uh, I'm just gonna remove it because in the video it's easier to see with less distraction here. Now we're going to remove, let's see what's good to remove next. Oh, but We're just going to remove the CPU fan then unclip that wire, and then we're going to remove the heat sink. You, you wanna work in a diagonal fashion just so that it takes some of the stress off.
So once you have all of those screws loosened up, just pull on the heat sink and fan. It'll pop up like this. It's held in up here. It's by two little tabs. And there you go. We can apply some new thermal paste because that's getting old. And then we'll go ahead and clean out that heat sink while we're at it. So this is LGA 11 5X is the type of um, CPU. And now we'll just take apart, we'll take out this first, just kinda some wire ties. Just pull right up on it, that pops right off. Disconnect the power supply going to the motherboard. We'll disconnect the front audio and USB ports. That's this gray connector here. And here is some more front panel IO. As well as here, which looks like the power switch, uh, hard drive light, things like that. Going to disconnect the front CPU fan right here. I mean, the front uh, case fan. And then we'll disconnect the main motherboard power, which is this big one right here. There you go. Now we'll take the front of the computer off just by releasing these three tabs. That pops right off. These are those connectors. You just leave that aside. Now we'll take the motherboard out. Oh, I'm sorry, this is actually, what is this here? This is the power light. So that's that connector. Disconnect that. Then we just have to remove the motherboard. Let's see how many screws there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six motherboard screws along, three along the top, three along the bottom. So now the motherboard is loosened. Let's see. Oh, we've got this big standoff. So we just unscrew that standoff right here this here and it looks like let's see any more screws going on that's about it so we'll need to remove the front first because it's um, hitting the IO it's kind of like tucked in there so here we go lift the top up a little bit and then we just kind of pull on it I'm removing that power supply first. Inside the power supply, we'll see a blue tab. I'm assuming we just kind of push down on that tab and then unscrew the power supply. Power supply is held in by three black screws on the back of the case. Once that power supply is loosened from the back, Again, we push that blue tab in here. You'll see it right on the bottom. Power supply slides, pops right out. And then we have our motherboard. There you go. Um, and so here is the motherboard. And to remove the processor, we could, we could have done this in the case, but basically we remove this here. And here is our processor. Be very careful and gentle with it. Be especially careful with the pins here. You don't want to misalign one. It's almost impossible to straighten these out. So your motherboard's completely done with. So um, on the processor, you'll notice that there's a little arrow. And that arrow, you just want to make sure it's pointing this direction. 
So you put that in there. You make sure this is gonna go underneath that screw. And then push that down and then you tuck that pin right into there so it locks it in place. So that's gonna do it for the disassembly guys. Um, putting it back together really back, just kinda do it backwards. Um, pretty, really kinda straightforward so I won't bore you with all that. Please hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Um, check out my other videos. Check out the links in the description if you guys need specific tools or um, solid states or anything like that. But uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel to see more. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.